from home little desk um i've been already like online and working for um the past like hour and a half or so it's 10 30 and we're having a great start to our week i look like a drowned rat i'm working from home all week this week also welcome back to the vlogs i am not going into the office because we're we have like some um like repair project on the office so everybody's working from home which i'm fine with because i'm very used to it <laughs> i've only gone into the office for two weeks now since i moved here and i'm still very new to that routine so i'm chilling with a work from home setup i do probably want to get out and like go to other places and coffee shops mornings i'm always productive here which is nice after lunch and when i hit the like afternoon slump is usually when i'm like getting kind of itchy to go somewhere else so We'll see if I go anywhere today. It's gonna to be rainy. It's a short week for me because I'm taking a PTO on Friday to go to Austin with my best friends, Sophie and Sierra. I'm so excited for this trip. We have a FaceTime tonight where we're gonna like plan out some of our itinerary a little bit more. I have like a good idea and I typed out like a vague itinerary and sent it to them of like ideas of how I think it would be make the most sense for a weekend to go um but we're also like very go with the flow so excited i'm leaving on thursday night actually so it's probably good that i'm working from home flying from dca which i'm so excited because dca is so easy for me to get to <laughs> compared to new york and then we'll be in austin for the weekend i don't know if i'm gonna vlog in Austin, I mean, I would love to like document and have the memories look back on, so maybe I'll get some clips. Today, I have a lot that I actually need to get done work-wise, so I need to focus. I also unpacked my blue light glasses again, so I should wear these. I had a really nice restorative weekend last time. <laughs> this is just a story of me being an idiot. Last night, I was cleaning my kitchen and I'm still like getting used to my appliances and things and stupid little buttons and commands and things. And I was like wiping down the stove top and the stove surface. And I accidentally hit a button on the stove and then the clock went blank. And so I thought I hit set time because I kept trying to press buttons and like X out of it and go back to the time and it wasn't coming up. So I was like, oh, I must have reset the time. So I type in 701 because that's what time it was and hit enter and then i don't pay attention to it eventually i go to sleep and i wake up in the middle of the night which i don't really do often i know i'm very blessed but i usually sleep through the night and i hear this like this like beep beep that sounds like it's a bomb ticking down like i i don't even know who designed this but it does not sound like an oven timer it sounds like the slow beep a, like a secret agent's bomb or something and i was also half asleep and so confused mostly asleep actually <laughs> i follow the sound it leads me into the kitchen and then i realize it's the stove timer going off because i didn't set the time i set a seven hour timer <laughs> now we know now i'm learning <laughs> how to set timers on my stove and this morning i was very tired but what else is new? and we're gonna have a good week i definitely need to optimize my time and like make sure that everything is tied up with a little bow before my trip this weekend. Happy Monday. It's one o'clock. I'm stepping away from my desk for a minute to have some lunch. And I wanted to show you guys, I hung up my neon sign. I debated like, oh, should I use it? Where would it best be placed? I had it just sitting here for the time being, but I wanted to use the space. And I was like, you know what? This is cute just to hang it here. It's not in the way. And you don't like see it from the whole apartment. So I measured it, I put in the nails, I hung it up, I went to go plug it in and it like flashed pink, which is the color it is, and kind of like bzzzed a little bit and then went out. And I realized I hadn't even noticed this as it was sitting there. The L got broken in transit or somehow, I don't even know when, if it was like when I was moving it around here 
or if it was when it was in a box or something but I did not even notice it until I tried to plug it in but she's broken and it doesn't work so that's a bummer but you know what I think she lived a good life I got this when I first moved into my little studio my first studio in Crown Heights in 2019 and I used that in both apartments so I think maybe she was just meant to live in New York City. So I think that's the universe telling me to retire it. But she will be missed. And yeah, what a bummer. So I'm not really sure what to do with it. Like, how do I dispose of this in a good way? But also it's just sad. And it's cute even when it's off. But it's not the same. So anyway, it's there for the time being until I decide what else I'm going to replace it with. Um, and I already hung it up so the wall has nails in it but we'll see i'm gonna make some lunch i got these yesterday um over the weekend i made a costco order because in a new place like it's so good to stock up costco has a really great value so i got like toilet paper dishwasher pods some household stuff and then i did get a couple like food things just because they were a good deal so i'm trying these i've never had them before it comes with three bowls i think this was like twelve dollars for three meals which is great so it's like a burrito bowl with rice beans corn chicken i put two of them in the freezer i know you're not supposed to because they come fresh um but whatever i want to save them and then i'm gonna make one up now that's in the fridge and see how it is i haven't seen these before from costco but they're gluten-free high protein let's see how much protein 30 grams of protein yeah so basically what do you do i haven't seen these before from costco but they're gluten-free, high protein, let's see how much protein, 30 grams of protein, puncture the film four times, microwave for like a minute and a half. This would be something great to bring to the office. The brand is called Frankly Fresh. One, two, three, four. I had to clear a film more. Let's see. I always do like a super random amount of time. I'll do like one, four, three, you know? When you think about me, text one, four, three. It smells good. Mmm, that's good for an easy like one minute meal shout out costco okay a couple hours later um that lunch was really good would recommend and now me just vlogging my like snack and coffee throughout the day but um i'm in a good spot with my work i definitely think i can submit this project by the end of the day but i do want to go for a little coffee walk really quick <laughs> to um beat the 3 p.m. slump. It's approaching 3 p.m. So I've been working the last couple hours and I'm in a good spot to take a 15 minute break. So Duncan is doing, I never get Duncan really, except when they have these promos. <laughs> um, but they do random like free medium iced coffee here and there. And I saw that after their Super Bowl commercial, um, they're doing one. I think it's, well, it's definitely gonna be expired when this is up, I'm sorry, but. It was from there. I didn't even watch the full commercial. I think I saw part of the ad muted, but it was like Ben Affleck, who is known to have been photographed with them many times. There's a code, Dunkings. Okay, I'm gonna make a mobile order, and I haven't gotten Dunkin' in probably at least a year. Pink Velvet Ice Macchiato. What is the flavor? Is it like a red velvet flavor? Because I could be down with that. I can just add my own oat milk here. Their flavors are so sweet though. I'm just gonna do like one pump. Okay, I'm placing my order. I'm gonna go for a little walk and pick it up. And I think I should beat the rain because I don't think it's supposed to start until like five. So hopefully we're good. Also my hair is looking a little whack. I obviously didn't <laughs> style it. Um, So we're just rolling with it. Let's go try this pink velvet coffee. Okay, the color of this does look kind of suspicious. Granted, I didn't get any milk in it, so I'll wait to try it until I get home some oat milk. Okay, that's what we're working with. The color of the coffee itself is very light and looks very weak. It smells sweet from the pink velvet. I'm pretty sure they gave me a large. If this is a medium, this is a very big medium, but. Ooh. But yeah, I kind of like that. The coffee definitely leaves something to be desired, but I like the flavor. Can't like put my finger on what exactly it reminds me of. It's definitely like a nice light sweetness though. So if you just want just like a little bit of flavor of the one pump, it's great. And this is great for a free coffee. So that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna add more oat milk once I drink 
a little bit more. So that's my Monday at pick me up. Now back to work. <laughs> Just look at this. Beautiful. Just made up this little salmon bowl for dinner. It's the honey mustard salmon um, that I got from Rachel Kirkconnell. I make this a lot, honestly, it's so good. And this little corn pepper avocado. I threw in some cucumber too. Um, little side salad and rice because I'm extra hungry. Sometimes I just have it with the like veggies. I'm about to dive into this and it looks and smells amazing. You guys, it's snowing! Can you even see that? Kind of. It's actually kind of like rainy snow, some of it. Because it's definitely not below 35. But... This is the first snow I'm seeing in my new apartment. Of the damages and losses for agricultural enterprises is estimated at almost 4 billion US dollars. That is millions of families. The issue of war induced displacement and forced migration. I was watching a UN debate earlier. I filmed a clip of that and I'm like, I'm <laughs> struggling with my time management a little bit. So basically there's this project that I was gonna submit. I have a meeting in 10 minutes. I was gonna submit it before that, but then I got sidetracked and I was watching the UN thing. And I'm like, you know what? It doesn't have like a hard, hard deadline and it's related to the person I'm about to meet with. So I was like, I'll just have the meeting and talk to them. Um, about it and then like finish it up afterwards because I did want to watch that debate. It actually gave me some inspo for the project that I'm working on which was helpful and I'm gonna finish watching it later. I paused it. UN debates literally take all day like security council debates um, because they have so many people who give statements that are several minutes long. It gets a little bit repetitive. I was in kind of like a weird mood this morning. I don't know. I feel like the day started off on kind of just like an odd note, but feeling better now. I have my leftover Dunkin' coffee from yesterday. I added more oat milk. 1 p.m. I'll probably have lunch after this meeting because I really wanted to like focus and get as much done as I could before. But yeah. I'm drinking the rest of this Alani New. These are even the mini cans, like the half, I think it's half, of the size of the normal ones. And I didn't even finish one of these when I opened it the other day. Luckily I needed like a little something to pick me up. It's after five now. I need to vlog off, but I want to submit this. I'm like so close to being done. I was like having writer's block and I'm like just a couple sentences away. I also have a workout class at 6 p.m. Once I get this done, that'll be a weight off my chest, check it off my to-do list, and then I can go and let it all out in yoga sculpt. I'm going to core power tonight. I haven't been to yoga sculpt in a hot minute. I think honestly, the last time I went was this summer, I wanna say, because I remember taking my friend for the first time and it was so hot outside. Like it's been really productive, but I just like suddenly, I'm super busy and have a million things and also I'm leaving on Thursday, so it's just, yeah. But that always happens. I feel like right before you have a trip or you're taking time off is when you just have a million things like on your lap. So I'm gonna power through this in the next like 20 minutes and then change and get ready to go to yoga and forget about the entire day. Okay, five minutes to spare, but we made it. <laughs> It's Wednesday now, another beautiful sunny day. I mean, another yesterday was snowing. Um, I am getting my work day going. It's actually been going. It's like I'm making an attempt to like eat a little bit of food before I drink coffee because I know that's better for cortisol and I know that a lot of people can't really handle coffee on an empty stomach like feeling wise but I've never been that way um but I just know that it's probably better if I don't so I feel like all I talk about <laughs> these days is like my sleep patterns also the light I need to figure out the best lighting situation 
for my desk. You might know, I've been using the Calm app for like meditations in the morning and like sleep, that's what it looks like. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I literally got like a free membership from work. So I've been using it since like, I don't know, sometime in the new year. And I really like to use their like sleep meditations or sleep stories. And last night, and I usually like put one on that's, they're usually like 30 or 40 minutes. And I always fall asleep like instantly. <laughs> but last night I tried a different one and I didn't realize that it was like an entire playlist of different stories. I chose something that went for like hours and I, I feel like I was dreaming about it and I woke up in the middle of the night like 3.30 so disoriented because I heard this voice and it was like a man talking about basketball or something like Hall of Fame I feel like it was something about that and I was just like what the hell is happening I'll try not to do that in the future but yeah those things are great I've been loving them today is my last day before the Austin trip tomorrow I can't believe it's tomorrow I'm so excited but I have so much to do I need to fully pack I don't think I'll need to do any laundry I already kind of like sketched out a general idea of the outfits that I want to bring and it's gonna be a little bit cooler it's gonna be like mid 50s the two cold days in the midst of 70s and sunny in Austin. So this trip is with Sophie and Sierra, my two best friends from college, and the three of us love doing like girls trips, but we haven't done one that's just us in a while because they both got married last year, so they had a lot going on with that. We are all very silly people. <laughs> and so we just like to get together and create chaos. I decided to do the thing, if you've seen the TikTok trend, where you each like get each other a ridiculous t-shirt. I got Sierra. We did like a secret Santa draw, but it's kind of obvious based on who you get, like who has you, because there's only three of us. So I know that Sophie has me and I'm very curious what she got for me to wear. But I'm gonna show you guys the t-shirt that I got for Sierra. I hope the size works. I got a small, because that's what Sierra said. It got my nipples pierced in <laughs> It's just like the dumbest thing you've ever seen. Seller on... Etsy had so many different ridiculous graphic tees, so highly recommend. It's not so bad on Etsy. Sierra's gonna wear this at the bar, and God only knows what I'm gonna be wearing. I wanna be productive. I also kinda wanna go somewhere to a coffee shop. I put makeup on, just for the hell of it, really, but I might as well go somewhere and get out of my apartment, and then come back and pack this evening. Oh, I just got an email. Okay, cheers. Happy Wednesday. Okay, we made it to lunchtime. Did my hair a little bit. And I'm gonna pack just like a quick fire round of packing. I probably won't pack my entire suitcase. I have a packing cube here. And I'm gonna pack like, I have a lot of these that I'm bringing, which seems silly because it's gonna be kind of cool, but it's gonna be warmer than it is here. And I'm gonna layer. So I have some like t-shirt tank tops that I think I might wear with a jacket when we go out. They're small, so I'm packing a lot just to have options um, in the packing cube. And then I'm bringing these options because I want to wear that like fur coat with the brown flex in it. So I think either this bodysuit or this t-shirt would look cute with that with my ivory jeans. I've worn this a lot, but you know, when you go to the Lone Star State, <laughs> these little Western boots that I got from Lulu's, they have a silver toe and it matches the silver hardware on this jacket. So I think this could be cute with denim. I also have to pack, I'm gonna pick out which of my dossier perfumes I'm gonna bring. They just sent this like sampler pack, which you can buy now, where you get 10 travel size of some of their like best selling amazing scents, like top rated ones. I am so excited about this. This is the full size. If you don't know, I love Dossier. I'm so excited that they're partnering with me on this video again. You all know I talk about them all the time because they're like my ride or die perfume and they're replications of really popular designer high-end fragrances that are at a fraction of the cost. This is one that I got also this month. This is a refill because I go through this like it's nobody's business. This is Ambery Saffron, which is Baccarat 540's replication, and it smells so good and so much like it that I use this all the time and I obviously had to get a new one. So this is the full size, and then these guys are just like a little travel spritzer size. This is 0.37 ounces, and this one is 1.7. So you could bring this travel size, 
but it's just easier to throw in your bag and have more space with this. So luckily they have every saffron in the travel size, but they also have so many other ones to choose from that I can honestly bring a few of these. This sampler has ones that I haven't tried yet that are actually so good that I wouldn't have necessarily picked out on my own. Caramelized lavender and hazelnut. I'm not usually a lavender fan, but something about this scent smells like nostalgic and so good to me. I don't know what it reminds me of. They have some of the more like gender neutral ones like musky oak moss, really good variety in here. So really excited about this. And if you want to try Dossier, definitely check it out because this is such a good way to like try different scents. Bubbly spritz and bitters, champagne vibes. Oh, it smells so fresh. So like I said, this one is inspired by Baccarat 540. Basically, Dossier makes their own versions of luxury scents at a fraction of the cost. So they're removing that retail markup where you're really just like paying for the name and paying hundreds of dollars for perfume. And instead, you can get Dossier perfumes that smell so similar between like $29 and $59. And personally, I just love their philosophy that nice perfumes shouldn't just belong to the 1%. And they have fragrances inspired by brands like YSL, Chanel, Le Labo, Tom Ford, Dior, like so many of the top names that charge an arm and a leg for their fragrances. You can get them for actually an affordable price on Dossier. And then the other one I got to try out for the first time this month is Woody Sage. This is another one that's a little bit different for me. I'm such a like gourmand girly, but ever since I got into Dossier trying out different scents, it's honestly kind of like broken me out of my mold of very specific like sweet vanilla scents. Fig tree, grapefruit, marine notes, ambrette, amber wood, woodsy, sage, but still has a nice sweetness and like something you would want to smell like. I already sprayed one on me, so I probably should. This was inspired by Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. Not only do they have amazing perfumes, but they also have some home fragrance items in some of their like top selling scents. Ambery Vanilla is one of my favorites. I think it smells so good. I've had it in a candle before, and they also have diffusers. So if you want your home to smell like your favorite Dossier perfume, it's such a good option. And I love diffusers, especially because it's like fire safe, subtle. I love them, and I definitely think that you guys will love them just as much. So so let me know what your favorite scent is that you've tried from them and if you haven't yet definitely go click the link down below and use my code 10 christy for 10 percent off which is on top of already great prices link below 10 christy for 10 percent off on dossier amazing well, best believe i'll be packing a couple of these with my stuff for austin and then i also have my shoes here that i'm gonna pack i still have some things in my suitcase that i never actually unpacked from my move so i need to clear those out and then i'm gonna put this stuff in put a couple things in the washing machine and get like the bulk of my outfits packed today and then tomorrow can just be last minute things I'm going to check out a new coffee shop that i was recommended called simona cafe and apparently it's really small, but they have a bar where you can like sit with your laptop and stuff. And I definitely need an afternoon pick me up treat. So literally every day what gets me through the afternoon is a little treat. <laughs> the sun feels so nice on my skin. <laughs> but first work I'm winning a meeting like basically right now in a couple minutes um this is i mean i look like this obviously i don't think i am gonna be on camera for this because it's more of like a presentation for an upcoming conference they're doing like a stakeholder meeting with people from civil society which is me um like presenting what their outcome document draft looks like and asking for input so i'm basically just kind of like listening to what they already have and i'm going to take some notes and potentially send some inputs she is networking on the technology enhancement 
for data focused decision making. I'm wrapping up work for the day. I got ready because I never really get ready for flights because it's usually first thing in the morning that I'm flying. There's no need. There's not really a need now either, but I'm like, it's the afternoon and the flight's also short. So I'm like, eh, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna do pickup within 15 minutes because that's $10 less. But yeah, um, my flight takes off in two hours and 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes to drive there. I don't think I'm even gonna need like an hour to go through security or anything. My supervisor knows that I'm going out of town. So I'm just like wrapping up last minute things and emails. I'll probably still check my email um, for the next hour or so. I can't believe that it's today. Sierra's getting there first. She should honestly be there in like an hour or so. And then Sophie and I did after work flights. Um, so we are gonna be there like at night. Yay, I love the feeling of closing your laptop when you're about to go somewhere fun. Plus I'm flying Southwest. That's also something that I'm scared about because <laughs> I haven't flown Southwest since I was a child and my mom was like doing the check-in process for me. So I feel like I'm yelling. Sorry, everyone. Definitely like set my alert because I know you have to check in immediately to make sure you get a good spot since they don't have reserve seats. I really honestly hate that idea, but we'll see how it goes in practice. Um, I set my alert. I was like, I'm just gonna be so on top of it and check in right at the 24 hour mark and then flights at 6.05. And then yesterday I'm on my work computer and I'm like working on stuff a little late and <laughs> 6.35, I realized, what did I realize because of? I don't remember what the trigger memory was. Oh, I was thinking, because I was like about to switch computers to start editing a vlog, and I was like, I could always edit on the plane tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not in the middle seat. And then I was like, wait a second, hopefully I'm not in the middle seat. And I was like, I missed the check-in time. So um, I rushed 20 minutes, 25 minutes after the check-in opened, and I still got like a terrible position. <laughs> I'm like C, not terrible, I'm C16 I think, which basically there's three groups, A, B, and C in Southwest, and your position in the line determines like when you board. So basically I'm like towards the end, so I'm essentially gonna get a middle seat. But yeah, I'm wearing all black, which is funny because I've recently gotten to the idea of color theory because I wanna start wearing colors, and I really wanna know like which ones suit me the best. And I'm pretty sure I'm a light summer. Um, which is really ironic because all I wear is black. So what we're working with, my all black <laughs> luggage. Um, backpack, suitcase, yeah, it's very full for a four day trip. I got clothes in here, I used a packing cube for my shirts like I said. Got my toiletries and makeup in here. My dossier perfume locked and loaded. And this has like kind of a puffy coat for the coldest day, at least. That wasn't me complaining about Southwest. I will not complain about an airline that doesn't charge me for a check bag. So I'm so excited to see my best friends. Sophie lands, I land at nine in Austin. Sophie lands at 10. So I'm just gonna wait for her and then we'll Uber together. But yay. I think I'll go to Austin. I'm gonna vlog, I think, like a little bit at least. So those clips will probably be in this vlog, but if not, thanks for watching. And if they are, enjoy the show. Austin. I'm sitting to random quarter outside of the bag thing and I'm waiting for Sophie because she lands, well she actually just landed but I've been here for a minute. Um, our flights were about like an hour apart but hers landed like the morning. So I'm so excited to see her. Excuse me ma'am, welcome ah! to check. <laughs> Shovel board. I have Court. 20 and she has 10. Should we go upstairs? 
Yeah. Yeah. So we gotta cross these off. So we got your quad. We have, um, what did I find? Uh, candy. candy. Hearts. Is that it? Pink? Oh yeah, and pink. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that's me. Oh, man. <laughs> the reaction fly. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yum. We're getting those look good. Yum. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> We're gonna split this somehow. Oh so we're gonna have to do a transfer. This is massive. That is beautiful. Also, so, so is the one on, are those two different kinds of pancakes? Yeah. But it, it doesn't does. say which is which, it just well, has the color. She said that this one. Oh, was oh, yeah. Green. Okay. Aquadome. Oh, I didn't realize it was right next door. Yeah, that's where all the fish are. We should go. It looks fun. Mm -hmm. Into the fish dome. Fish dome. Hey, Jamie, welcome to my crib. <laughs> welcome, welcome to, to my, my dome. Welcome to my fish. <laughs> are they actually babies or are they just tiny? I don't know. They're tiny. They're all so small. Wow. Look at all these fish. Oh. Look at all those chickens. Now you see me. No, you don't. I'm, mm. I'm definitely this one. Or I'm this one, and you're trying to get me to stop talking. I think Sophie's the one covering its eyes because she has I, vision problems. I agree. <laughs> Emerald rainbows. Oh my god, look how little. Barbs. Pull up in Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it. Okay, that starts the timer. Alright. Nice. Everyone, while you're eating your waffle, tell us your favorite thing about Texas. So far it's been the food. Really? Okay, right on. Yeah, mine's gonna be the way that they do meat. We have the meat. Ooh. It's really like shabby and good. Mm. 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 Okay. Pretty cereal taffy. Oh. Ooh. Raspberry your sherbet. Sherbet. How is it? Good. I would say it's not quite as I remember it, but I feel like every place probably makes it different. This is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what color is that? It looks like a Lakers. Raspberry lemonade. Oh. Magic Johnson flavor. And yours is the Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles. Real. Nice. It does taste like Fruity Pebbles. It's kind of wild. They probably just can't call it that because it's not right. Yeah. So for the garnish on mine, they did a maraschino cherry and then a gummy bear and they stabbed it. I love it. Come and take my candy. Yeehaw! All right. Would you like to give us a tour of what you got? Yeah, I got some smoked turkey, some pulled no uh, pork ribs, coleslaw, potato salad, and complimentary pickles. Yeah. And so they got sides on sides because I don't eat meat. Yeah, that's kind of hard here. Yeah. Yay! Alright, so brisket. 